after the end of World War II. <coughs> Jack, I've got some important news. Sokolov. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the West. <laughs> Do you copy? How exactly am I supposed to feed myself? Hello, Snake. I'm Paramedic. Nice to meet you. Para... Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. <laughs> Commencing virtuous mission now. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. Snake. What's up, boss? Don't you what's up me. Just what do you think you're doing? What is that camouflage you're wearing? Oh, this. What do you think? It's like saying to the enemy, Hey, here I am. Shoot me. But it does look good on me, doesn't it? <sighs> You don't think so? Listen, wise ass. Huh? Ah! You must be Sokolov. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Freeze! <gasps> from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No, what is it? It's a movie. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Boss? Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan, I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Jack, you can't come with us. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Boss, you have to shoot me. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? 
I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy a try. Soviet airspace. Snake, Sidornov's done it again. Snake, Sidornov's done it again. Give me a break. Snake, listen, Sidornov's done it again. Come on. The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Their code names are Adam and Eva. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. Huh? Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? <laughs> Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. That arm still hurt? Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Sorry I'm late. Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. Say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! The real objective was ensuring that we could generate... There is your answer. The name's Eva. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then. Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohod. You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. What? Not here? He's not here? Did he get away? When you get shot, you'll sometimes suffer a gunshot wound. I've been waiting for this moment. Female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. Huh? You don't have what it takes to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't over yet! Don't! He's still young. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. Twelve 
12 shots. This time I've got 12 shots. Found us. Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? Nah, I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond, it's pure fantasy. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What about a snake-shaped gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. <laughs> okay, now you're being ridiculous. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. I see you've caught a vampire bat. The vampire bat bites its victims and sucks their blood. Speaking of bats... Just save it. I know you're gonna talk about vampire movies, Attack of the Vampire Donuts, or Dracula vs. the Space Hippos, or something like that. Yeah, they're fascinating, you know? Like the movie Dracula... Don't say it. Why not? Just don't. Are you afraid? What? You're afraid of vampires, aren't you? Don't be ridiculous. But... Listen, there are no such things as vampires. They're just a stupid, made-up legend. And if they do seem real sometimes, do you think I'd be afraid of something like that? No. Exactly. Right. I'm not afraid of vampires. Uh-huh. It's just that whenever somebody starts talking about vampires, I end up dreaming about them that night, and I don't need that right now. That's all. Okay. Each time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. Hold it right there, traitor. One of these three guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. You'd better stay in line from now on. The pain is dead. What? Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it.
I'm leaving him to you, the fear. The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? Yeah. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? Look! It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A walking tank. A robot. A kind of metal gear, if you will. Metal... gear? <laughs> I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. Sokolov's pathetic shagohard pales in comparison to my work. Look at these! Nice shoes. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. I want to help you, my shoes. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. To capitalism! Sigint, Granin said something about putting legs on a tank. Do you know what he was talking about? You ask me, it's gotta be a joke. Not only is making a tank walk on two legs a technical nightmare, but there's no point in making a walking tank to begin with. I mean, anybody who'd seriously consider making a thing like that has got to be a wacko. Running away, huh? Come on back to the lab! Venom of the Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time. For you to feel the fear! Yeah! The 
fear! I see it! The fear! Where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here, too. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. I see you found a Spatza. Spa. Spatza. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Huh. So paramedic. What? What kind of mushroom is a spatza? Uh. You really want to know? I guess so. Okay. Let's see. The spatza. Yeah. It's gray. Hmm. And it grows on the ground. Yeah, and. That's all. That's all? That's all the guide says. Why don't you eat one and see? It might be pretty tasty. Ah, spaghetti. I ate one of those spots of mushrooms you were talking about. Really? How did it taste? I passed out. Seriously? Yeah. So that's why they call it the bringer of sleep. I see you found some Ural luminescent mushrooms. It looks like a shiitake mushroom, and it's often found growing on the trunks of trees. If it looks like a shiitake mushroom, then it must be edible, right? Yep. I can't guarantee that it'll taste just like a shiitake mushroom, though. Damn it, paramedic. It's poisonous. Snake, you caught a Tsuchinoko. What? Is it true, Snake? Yeah. Way to go, my man. You really are the boss's apprentice. Yes, it looks like sending you in was worth it after all. Hurry up and finish your mission and then bring it back to us. Under no circumstances are you to eat it, is that clear? Mmm, delicious. Hello? Hello? I beg of you, grant me the strength to take this final prey. You have my thanks. I have to thank you for waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. My parrot, she's dead. What have you done? You've gone too far this time. I'll get you for this. Drop your weapon! He's dead. What the hell happened? You mean he kicked the bucket in the middle of a battle? Maybe. I... Well, Snake, the victory is yours. But he'll wake up when the time is right. 
And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. End. H this is HQ. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. Wait, there's something else I've got to tell you. What's that? I heard that the ocelots have set up an ambush for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. Apparently, they've even got snipers positioned there. Phase 2 trial of the Shagohat is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you... You taste like a wild beast. I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Talk. He died before I could get it out of him. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> That leaves only the Fury. He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? America is out to destroy the Shagohad and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. <laughs> Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. Hmm? Perfume. <laughs> nice boots. Make sure you polish them up properly.
I am the Fury. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury. Burn. Boss, this is the end of the Copras. You're the only one left. Something to eat. Someone in here? Give me a break. Enough already. What, you want to join me? Fine then. Come on in. Who the You're the man from the CIA. I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. Don't tell me. The Shagohods. Hmm. Exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Vulcan is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. Just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Volgin's lover. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. No. I'm not going. Even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. Please, watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Who are you? I know the Major better than anyone else. What is this fairy disguise? Stay out of this! I'll take it from here. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Guess he's dead. <laughs> Metal Gear's solid rocket motor does not have a post-ignition fuel control mechanism. I hope you'll prove more entertaining than he was. Ah! 
Yes, yes. Let yourself go. It's no use. He's not going to talk. Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. One hundred billion dollars! Divided up and hidden all over the world! The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. What's this? A transmitter? I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. What do you want me to do? Cut out his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. <sighs> was refreshing. <laughs> Watching this has made me realize something. It's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> Snake, your right eye. Mm. The cornea and the lens are severely damaged, and the eyeball is ruptured. So... So I can't heal it, even in the survival viewer. I'm afraid not. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. Change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the Master comes for him, saying, The time has come. The Master spreads his huge wings, and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on, I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula! Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. Pardon? Where am I? It's 1964. You're in a cell in Groznygrad. What did they do, Snake? Make you drink an entire keg of vodka? No. Was it a dream? A dream? Well, how nice. And here I thought I sat up all night worrying about you for nothing. It was almost real. I was holding this sword in my hand. I had the most amazing dream thanks to you. Ah. You didn't really dream about Drac. Don't say it. Hey, eat up! Huh? Hey, thanks! Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. Uh, I guess not all Americans are dogs. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny, nice ring to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, not again! Oh. My name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. Don't suppose you could let me out of here? Huh? I can't do that. I've said too much. I gotta go. Miss! <laughs> 
snake. The door of the cell is set up to open when it receives a radio signal on a certain frequency. If you only knew the frequency, you could use your radio to open the door. Oh, go oh, my stomach. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I can't hold it anymore. It's coming out. Here it comes. Oh, still going. Wow. I didn't think that was possible. That's a record. I've been waiting for this. This is where it ends. Snake. Snake? Snake! You all right? That was a close call. Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. He's been dead for two years now, at Selino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana.
Snake, come here for a minute. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how small it is. Yeah, but it gets the job done. <laughs> How's that? Hold steady, I'm not done yet. There, a transmitter. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Well, what do you think? Snake, you caught a Tsuchinoko. Hurry up and finish your mission, and then bring it back to us. Under no circumstances are you to eat it, is that clear? Mm, delicious. Main wing hangar, huh? Yeah. you this time. Snake! This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. Look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. We found this radio along with her too. You dirty whore. I've had enough kisses from you. What is the Philosopher's Legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. The three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit, and they amassed an enormous sum of money, enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the Philosopher's Legacy. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the Philosopher's Legacy. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. The spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Take good care of it. I'll dispose of her as well. <laughs> Leave everything to me. Let me face him. Time to get even. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No more judo, and no more field strips. Enough of this. He's mine. 
Please, Colonel, let me- Silence!
<laughs> Who's afraid of a little thunder? <laughs> Time for this now. The escape craft is just up ahead. Yeah. What do you think of that? Not bad. Eva! I'm over here. Huh? The boss is waiting for you. You have to go. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Snake! Snake! You? You're alive? Yeah, yeah, right there. No snake. That feels so good. Yeah, yeah, right there. Mm. Oh, boss, that feels so good. Mm. <laughs> right there. Fido, that feels so good. Mm. We made it. We made it. It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. I'll leave you two alone. Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow I doubt it. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert participating in atomic testing. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos, then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. The sorrow gave his life for me. By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. He was one of them. I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle, but my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life. 
The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss? You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Let's see what you're made of. Time to play rough. Faking it? Did you really think I would fall for that? That will work on you. Get up and fight. Dodge this! Take this. Keep it safe. It's our only hope. A patriot? Why are you doing this? Why? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! <laughs> Ready to go, Snake? What do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, all right. What's your name? Snake. No, not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Plain name. But I won't forget it.
you've done. You changed the future. You've created a time paradox. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB? What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. I don't take orders from anyone now. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. The philosophers still exist in China, too. My mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place, saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I got the film containing the legacy and also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. I too am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She knew right from the beginning. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher schools too, as an instructor. She told me everything. Snake, she wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. But I can't do it because I made a promise to the boss. You have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. Because that was her duty. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. 
The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. Her death in your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me everything she did. She did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John. I mean, Snake, to thank for that. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple-crossing them. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course, I am always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. Director. It's back in my rightful hands. The Philosopher's Legacy. Back with its rightful owner. Who are you?